It's so cool to see also the sun rays we're having and the chance for better weather come the 4th of July holiday. Yeah, absolutely. A couple more pushes of rain, a beautiful start, but we have to watch out for more thunderstorms this afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, before things start to change as we head closer to 4th of July. A uh, really cool clockwise flow of moisture heading through New Mexico right now. A lot of that rain activity starting to dwindle down in coverage for now as the rain pivots into the northern parts of New Mexico and beyond. A high pressure right over Texas, that clockwise flow pushing Gulf of Mexico and Pacific moisture right over the region. We had some flooding thunderstorms earlier in the Farmington Durango area. A lot of those thunderstorms now making their way into the Hamas Mountains, getting closer to the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Meanwhile, Albuquerque, some clouds generally to the south with light rain showers that were impacting parts of the I-25 corridor much earlier this morning, now moving their way closer to Comcary and dwindling down in coverage and intensity as well. Some of the thunderstorms produce at least a quarter to as much as almost two inches of rain in a broad spectrum from Farmington, Durango. Now, a lot of that rain, some of the lightning strikes dwindling down again in coverage and intensity. A beautiful start right now in Albuquerque. Look at the beautiful sunrise, those clouds obstructing that sun rising from really being able to be seen. But we do notice that yellow orange glow right over the Sandias right now. Nonetheless, still a beautiful start as that sun continues to rise. We'll heat up and dry out just a little bit more compared to yesterday. 65 right now in Albuquerque, calm winds, 78% relative humidity, a cooler start out there, pretty close to where we should be. But later today, with the daytime heating and moisture still present, Thunderstorms still possible in the Gila National Forest, this time closer to the Silver City area, just like yesterday near Socorro. And also, we'll see some strong thunderstorms in the northeastern plains near Roswell and Rio Doso. Some flash flooding, a possibility of flood watch in effect through later today. Again, including Rio Doso along 70, which a couple days ago experienced torrents of rain that swept cars and also some debris. We really have to watch out for that flash flooding potential in these areas later today in the Sacramento Mountains in that Lincoln National Forest. That will impact these temperatures. We're sitting at 57 Rudosa right now. 57 also in Durango, which again experienced some rain earlier this morning. 65 in Albuquerque. Warmer the farther south and east to go. We're sitting at 75 right now in Carlsbad, but a touch cooler compared to yesterday morning for most at this time. Heating up in the high 70s, 80s, 90s, and low triple digits from north to south. Triple digit heat possible in and around Roswell, Carlsbad, and Hobbs. Now this model depicting 80 in Roswell because of storms nearby and also cooler air near Carlsbad, but Hobbs may reach at least 100. I think we'll at least reach 90 today in Albuquerque. Again, cooler in the northern mountains in the southwestern areas as well, where storms will still be a possibility later today. Right around 91 this afternoon before the storms start to fire off. A touch warmer and drier in the metro compared to what we have been seeing thanks to this high pressure drifting to the east. The elongated plume of moisture will start to move farther to the south and the east. The Four Corners region today and tomorrow will be a little bit drier, but still scattered pockets of rain and isolated pockets of flash flooding. But dry air arrives on your 4th of July with more sunshine and hotter air for much of the region. But areas that have not seen rain in southeast New Mexico may start to see Mother Nature produce fireworks of her own for your 4th of July. Widespread 80s, 90s, and triple digits for your 4th of July. Places like Durango, temperatures generally in the mid to upper 80s. Pretty similar in Farmington, we'll see temperatures in the upper 80s, low 90s. Cuba, we have temperatures in the upper 70s, 80s, and low 90s with a pretty low chance of rain. Las Cruces, high 90s, low triple digits for the next few days. Not budging too much as we head closer to the Rudoso Roswell area. Temperatures ranging, of course, in elevation with any chances of rain Generally in the short term, Las Vegas to the eastern mountains and northern mountains, we have our highest potential for rain for the next couple of days before. As we head closer to the metro, you start to see more sporadic rain activity in the mountains and then drier and hotter air. For your 4th of July, temperatures a bit above normal as we head closer to the weekend. Nice overnight lows and drier air for your 4th of July weekend. Great 4th of July forecast for everyone to look forward to. Get out to that Freedom Fest. We'll take it. Absolutely. Can't wait for many people to experience that and have fun with great weather. Not to mention cookouts. All right. Thanks a lot, Ryan.